guys, it's Elizabeth the Hug Life coming at you on a Friday. A Friday, yay, yay! I'm so ready for the weekend. I kind of wanted to do this impromptu video and show you some things that I've been working on. The first thing is this new Happy Planner cover that I made. I was at TJ Maxx perusing the clearance aisle, as you do, and I saw these prints by American Crafts, and I was like, these would make amazing covers, and I think it turned out awesome. Um, and I'll show you the interior. And this piece of scrapbook paper is from a Craftsmith paper pad. And here is the back as well. I made this. This is also Craftsmith. And if you would like to learn how to make your own custom Happy Planner cover, I actually have a video on how to do that, and I'll link that down below. Now, I am a contributor for Sweet Stamp Shop, and when Nicole asked me if I wanted to be a part of the team, I freaked out because I love her designs and stamps. And one of the cool things about being a team member is you get to um, listen to questions and concerns from uh, customers like you guys. And one of the things that was brought to our attention was how to use this new stamp set called Basic Tabs. It is an amazing stamp set. I love it. Um, and so I wanted to share with you how I use this in a recent layout. So let me go ahead and turn to it. Here is the layout. Um, and I've been hankering to do a layout using lavender, gray, and coral, and I think it turned out pretty darn good. So let me get a piece of paper so you can see. So I love to-do lists, and so I use this big square stamp to create little boxes so I could write my daily to-dos in. Um, and I obviously stamp this on colored paper and then I cut it out. And what's really cool is the width of this box fits in the width of the Happy Planner, so it'll obviously fit in an Erin Condren planner as well. And then I used this stamp set called uh, Plan Every Day which is an oldie but a goodie, and I use this sentiment to do to just make that happen. And then the little hexagons I used from an uh, amazing stamp set that was also released this October, and I used the hexagons here to create that. But honestly, you could use the little checkbox here and just do that that way. I also used basic tabs as a way to decorate my planner. I made, I like to call it heart confetti, <laughs> using the shadow and the outline. And so, you know, I just kind of did that in different places. If you're curious about these two stamps, that was used uh, using Epic Notes, which is a new stamp set as well. I just thought it was so cute. Um, so yeah, I also used that Sucker, that sucker. Basic tabs over here to mark special day. I'm going to Disneyland for Mickey's Halloween party, and so obviously that needed to be notated. Um, and you can see more heart confetti and more boxes. But I also wanted to show you this tab that I made uh, using this box and this shadow heart and the outline. And what I did was, let me just take this out of the way. I took, I stamped this guy and these two on a piece of paper and then I used the today sentiment from Plan Every Day and I cut it out, um, I folded the paper and I cut it out and then I laminated it because I wanted to use it every day and I just stuck some magnets on there um, and that's what the magnets are. I think I got these at Home Depot. Honestly, you could probably get them at Michael's. And so, yeah, it works. These magnets aren't very strong. I'm sure you could get better than what I have, but I just love that I can mark today. Let me pull this up a little. And so it kind of like pops up. So when I close my planner, you can see where today is. Um, I also make pocket letters, and I thought, you know, making that today tab, that'd be a really cool bookmark, like little gift to put into my pockets. And so I wanted to show you some of the other ones that I made. This is my Moleskine. And so I made these guys. Um, I used this, the circle down here with the shadow on the outline, and again I used um, plan every day to put to do in here. I thought that'd be cool if you know you I use this notebook for gratitude journaling But if you had you know if you just use a normal notebook to write down your to-dos you can mark it um, And have a basically a page marker. I also love this one because I do love to list and I love the hexagon here and then I did the heart and the heart outline and I mean it's so cute the way it pops out of the journal 
Um, and then I made this one that says wife and I made that using this big guy here and the square and the um, outline here and this comes with a bunch of cool um, nouns like girl, daughter, son, kids, boy, wife, hubby, list chores and duty. And so I thought, you know, I made this into a bookmark, but honestly, if you had a family planning binder, it would be really cool to make tabs. I mean, you could just glue them onto folders or dividers to make, you know, tabs for your daughter, tabs for the kids. Um, if you have a chore list, like it would just be a cool way to do that and um, pretty easy. And you have so many other different ways to cut them out and to use it. So yeah, that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I'm really excited to go to Disneyland uh, this weekend. My Halloween costume is pretty darn epic, if I do say so myself. Um, and if you're going to Disneyland, please let me know. Like, hit me up on Instagram. I'll be Snapchatting as well. Um, if you want to follow me on Snapchat, I don't do a lot of crafty Snapchats. It's more like glimpses of my life. Um, but I'll definitely be Snapchatting at Disneyland. And my Snapchat username is the Liz Ho Show. So. Yeah, I think that's all I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you have a great one. Please hit subscribe if you'd like to keep up with what I'm doing. Hit thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And if you didn't, don't hit thumbs down. I mean, guess you could. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but it just makes me sad when I see thumbs down. It doesn't make me sad, honestly. I don't, I don't know why I'm rambling. I'm going to end this video, guys. All right. Peace. Bye, guys.